I send you blessings in the name of Jesus. Listen, please. I just have a simple message. I just have a simple message. Um, I want you to know that in life, if there is breath in you, if there is life in you, live. Don't just be around. Live life. Don't just be around. Live a legacy. Live a name. Don't just be around. Amen. Don't just be around. In the book of John chapter 2, when you read the verse 1, John 2 verse 1, and this is when Jesus was about to turn water into wine. The Bible says, every version you would read, you would see that. The Bible said there was a wedding, there was a feast. The Mary of, I mean, the mother of Jesus, which is Mary, was there. And Jesus and his disciples were invited. Listen, every occasion, every function, there are two groups of people, two types of people. Those that, that are invited, which means that they are very needed, that are very their presence is very much needed, and there are those who are just there. You see, those who are just there are just around. They are just spectators. They are just they just enjoy. They are just giving, you know, usually what is surplus. Amen. But don't just be around. But listen, you know, Mary was not invited. It was Jesus and the mother that were invited. The Bible says, you know, the mother of, I mean, Jesus and the disciples that were invited. The Bible says the mother of Jesus was there, but Jesus and his disciples had been invited. Guess so. But the woman Mary refused to just be around. Why? Because she became very vital. She became very important. She became very profitable to the wedding, to the occasion. Why? Because he was able to put Jesus to work. Jesus even said that it is not yet my time. But guess what? Mary was so important because she refused to just be around. Don't just be around. You know, it is good to be committed to a church. It is good to belong to a church. But don't just be a church member. It is not enough to be to, to be going to the church every Monday, every Wednesday, every Friday. No, that is not enough. You must do something. Be recognized. Work for the Lord. Amen. Don't just be around. Listen, in the book of Second Timothy chapter 4, I believe most of you read what I posted. You know, the Bible says, Look, I mean, Apostle Paul was in prison. He wrote something to Timothy. He said in the verse 11, he said, Only Luke is with me. Only Luke is with me. It means he was feeling some lapses. He says, Take Mark and bring him because Mark is profitable to the ministry. Listen, Luke had been around him. You know, Luke was comfortable. Luke was very loyal. Luke was very faithful. But listen, it is not enough to be loyal. It is not enough to be faithful. There are people that are loyal to ministries, but they, but they, you know, even when they are absent, they are not felt. Don't just be around. Don't be known for for where you sit. You know, when when you are when you are missed in church, don't be missed in church because they say, "Oh, the person that sits here." No, you, you, they must be able to say, "The person that does this in the house, work for God, do something for God," because Bible says in Romans two verse six that God is going to pay us, God is going to judge us according to our works. Not because you became a Christian, not because you were baptized, not because you, you have been a Christian for a long time, not because you never fornicated or did anything bad, but because you worked for God. Don't just be around. You see, Mark, in the book of Luke, chapter, I mean, Acts chapter 15, when you read Acts 15, 36 to 40, you would know that Mark, as a matter of fact, had had a confrontation, an argument with Paul, and they parted away. They stopped working together. But when Paul was in prison, even though Luke had stuck to him, even though Luke was faithful, Paul was missing Mark. Why? Because of work. Don't just be around. Work for the Lord. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus.